Peace, 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 peace. This is Chakli Amara. In the morning message. All right, everyone. How you doing? It's a rainy day, but remember what I tell you about the rain. Rain is a beautiful thing. It gives us water. Rain does more things in the, on this earth than you can ever imagine. But let's get to the morning message. Before we do that, let's call, pay all due respects to the Creator. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. Amun. Peace, 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 gods. Peace, 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 goddesses, kings and queens, brothers and sisters. Today's morning message is this. Family. Family. How important is family? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up, ladies and gentlemen, gods and goddesses, kings and queens, and brothers and sisters, is that sometimes family can hurt you. Or family can hurt themselves and this is a known fact now listen family could be blood family could be the community family could be the people at your job family could be people you know in school so let's don't get it twisted you heard me clearly let me re, let me let me say it again so you can understand what I'm talking about family family could be people in school okay you know these people for a long time family could be people in the community where you live at, okay? Family could be blood-related people. Family could be people at your job. Remember this, y'all. When you with a group of people for a long period of time, whether you like it or not, they're your family in some kind of way. Now, we might not want to ever admit that, and sometimes we can't stand it. But in fact, we do almost do everything we do with our own families. Now, our blood-related families, rather. Now, going into you want to help people, you try to help your family in some kind of way or the ones you love dearly, they don't, a lot of them don't appreciate what you try to do for them. Remember, family, it doesn't matter what group it is they don't appreciate it then when they get themselves caught up in a bunch of mess then all of a sudden they want you to rescue them when you've been rescuing them all the time they want you to put your hand out they want you to, to stick to your hand out again when you bit they 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 bit your hand off every when 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 they when they felt like they didn't need your hand they didn't go, well, I don't need you. Or they don't sit down and say, I got it. They bit your hand off. No respect, no regards. And then when a play like you stupid, every chance they get, and then they want to look at you like, oh, you know, uh, I apologize. Let me tell you something I found out about people. They could be phony. I mean, deep-rooted phony. And what I always believe, when you catch these people, stop them in their tracks, leave them alone. Because they're just going to put pressure on you. And then they're going to go reroute and act the same way they was acting when, they, when you put your hand out and help them. They're going to stop acting like an ass. Let me, let me, let me, let me stop being nice. They gonna stop acting like a fucking asshole, okay? These people who come, oh, we family, oh, I love you, I'll do this. These motherfuckers don't give a shit about you. They only give a shit what can they get. Uh, it's all about me, you know? Entertain me, it's my show. Then go out there and do what the fuck you been doing. Family is a motherfucker. And they never 
want to be correct. They always want to come back at you with this sob fucking story. Or the so, I'm so sorry routine. And don't realize the only way you're going to change, you got to go out there and do what you got to do. And do it positively. Instead of coming back with the same fucking different story. So somebody can feel sorry for you. Put their hand out to help you. Then they help you. And then when you're on your feet. Or you feeling good. Or you comfortable. They tear your soul apart. I call these people. They soul eaters brothers and sisters. They captivated from a demon that eats souls. So they want to take their old family member soul and try to hurt you. But they don't understand them. When you burn them bridges, you can't come back across that motherfucker. Now they're going to try to create their own bridge. But when you cross my bridge... There ain't no coming back. I'm going to make it real. I'm going to keep it real. Excuse me. You cross my bridge. Fuck all that. Let's be friends. and Let's this. Fuck you. That's it. Because I don't have time for nobody. When you out there being an asshole and bringing that problem in my face. My family's face. If you can't do the right thing and just live abundant life, that's because you don't want to. Don't bring your shit around me and my family. I don't care where the fuck you from. That's how I get down. Some people sit there, allow themselves to be abused. I'm telling you. And they live like that. And you know what I found out? That they are also a fuel. They fuel the beast. They don't know that. They fuel the beast by sitting there allowing people to abuse them and people, and they feed these the beast. Now, I'm not saying they ain't going to heaven for that shit, you know what I mean? Or, or to, a, to a better place. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is this you got people who do that. And they can always run to these people. Now, is that a good thing? Yes, it is a good thing because sometimes it takes a stranger for you to run to and you might recover. Now, here come the fucked up part. When that stranger helps them, they not going to remember nobody that ever helped them out. Only the stranger, the last one, who stuck their neck out and dealt with their shit. And they'll say something like this. Fuck family. My family ain't shit. They ain't never helped me. I mean literally tell people the lie. That nobody never helped them. Then you got the second part. That these people will come back humbly. And go you know what. I needed to do what I had to do. I apologize. I don't know what was wrong with me. And. I'm out there working. I'm doing what I got to do. I got my own company. I'm living a better life. I want to say I'm sorry. They're not coming to ask for nothing. They're asking for forgiveness. Why they on the move of doing the right thing. That is how you do it. That is being a god and a goddess. That's being a king or a queen. That's being a real brother and a real sister. You don't come back talking that oh you you tired of this and you wanna and you wanna do the right thing and you ain't doing shit. Now you got to come back when you on when you making your moves and it's and it's popping. Family. At times they are a bitch and a half. Woo! This is chocolate on the rock. Question is. We got to still love them, though. But you can love them from a distance as well as you can love them close.